Attorney General Sessions, you have um, several times this afternoon uh, prefaced your responses by saying, um, to the best of your recollection, uh, just on the first page of your three pages of written testimony, you wrote, nor do I recall, do not have recollection, do not remember it. So my question is, for any of your testimony today, did you refresh your memory with any written documents, be they your calendar, written correspondence, emails, notes of any sort? I, I attempted to refresh my recollection, but so much of this is um, in, a, in a wholesale campaign of extraordinary nature uh, uh, that you're moving so fast that you don't keep notes. You meet people. I didn't keep notes of uh, my conversation with the Russian ambassador at the Sir, Republican convention. I'd like convention. to just talk about but what you, you did. You know, I'm just saying I didn't keep notes on most of these things, and there's Will nothing for me. Will you provide this committee with the notes that you did maintain? As appropriate, I will supply the committee with documents. Can you please tell me what you mean when you say appropriate? I would have to consult with uh, um, lawyers in the department who um, know the proper procedure uh, to before disclosing documents that are held within the Department of Justice. Attorney and General I'm not Sessions. able to make that opinion today. Sir, I'm sure you prepared for this hearing today, and most of the questions that have been presented to you were uh, predictable. So my question to you is, did you then review with the lawyers of your department, if you as the top lawyer are unaware, what the law is regarding what you can share with us and what you cannot share with us, what is privileged and what is not privileged? We discussed the uh, basic uh, parameters of testimony. I frankly have not discussed documentary uh, disclosure rules. Will you make a commitment to this committee that you will share any written correspondence, be they your calendars, records, notes, emails, or anything that has been reduced at any point in time in writing I will, uh, to this committee where legally um, you actually have an obligation to do so? I'll commit to reviewing the uh, rules of the department and as uh, and when uh, that issue is raised to respond appropriately. Did you have any communications with Russian officials uh, for any reason during the campaign that have not been disclosed? Uh, in public or to this committee? Uh, I don't recall it, uh, but I have to tell you, uh, I cannot testify to what was uh, said as we were standing at the Republican convention before the podium where I spoke. My, my just, question is uh, only as I don't have the detailed memory of that. Okay, as it relates to your knowledge. Did you have mind? any communication with any Russian businessmen or any Russian nationals? I don't believe I had any conversation with Russian businessmen or Russian nationals. Are you aware of Although any communication? A lot of people were at the convention. It's conceivable that somebody sir, came sir, up to me. Sir, I have just a few. Well, minutes. you let me qualify it. I, if, you, okay. if I don't qualify it, you'll accuse me of lying. So I need to be correct as best I can. I do want you to be honest. And I'm not able to uh, be rushed this fast. It makes me nervous. Are you aware of any communications with other Trump campaign officials and associates uh, that they had with Russian officials or any uh, Russian nationals? I don't recall that. And uh, are you aware of At any, this moment. Are you aware of any communications uh, with any Trump officials or did you have any communications with any officials about uh, Russia or Russian interests in the United States before January 20th? No, I may have had some conversations, uh, and I think I did, uh, with the general strategic concept of the possibility of whether or not Russia and the United States could get on a more harmonious relationship and move off the hostility. Uh, the Soviet Union did, in fact, collapse. Uh, it's really a, a tragic you, strategic Thank event you. that we're not able to get along before, better than Before we are being today. sworn in as Attorney General, how did you typically communicate with then-candidate or President-elect Trump? Would you repeat that? Before you were sworn in as Attorney General, how did you typically communicate with then-candidate or President-elect Trump? Um, I did, did not submit memoranda. Uh, I did not uh, make formal presentations. Did you ever communicate with him in writing? I don't believe so. And um, you referred to a longstanding DOJ policy. Um, can you tell us what policy it is you're talking about? Well, I think most cabinet people, as the witnesses uh, you had before you earlier, those 
individuals uh, declined to comment because we're all about conversations with the president. Sir, I'm just asking you about the DOJ policy you referred to. Because that's a long policy, a policy that goes beyond just the attorney general. Is that policy in writing somewhere? Uh, I, I think so. So did you not consult it before you came before this committee, knowing we would ask you questions about it? Well, we, we talked about it. The, the policy is did based. Did you ask that it would be shown to you? The policy is based on the principle that the president. Sir, uh, I'm not asking about the principle. I'm asking when well, you I'm think that you would be asked these the questions question. and you would rely on that policy. Chairman, did you yeah. not ask your staff to show you the policy that would be the basis for your refusing to answer the Chairman, majority of questions that have been asked? Chairman, should be allowed to answer the question. Senators will allow the chair <laughs> to control the hearing. Senator Harris, let him answer. Please do. Uh, Thank you. We talked about it. Uh, and we talked about the real principle that's at stake. It's one that I have some appreciation for as having spent 15 years in the Department of Justice, 12 as United States <coughs> Attorney, and that principle is that the Constitution provides the head of the executive branch certain privileges and that uh, members, one of them is confidentiality of communications. And it is improper for agents of any of the department of, of uh, any departments in the executive branch to waive that privilege without a clear approval Chairman, of the president. I have asked and that's the uh, situation Mr. we're in. For a yes or no, did you ask so your So the staff answer is yes, I policy. consulted. Senator, did you ask your staff uh, to see the policy? Senator Stein expired. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently Senator not. Senator Cornyn. 